Hi, I'm Mike Swain, Science and Environment Editor of the Daily Mirror. I've just come back from West Kalimantan in Borneo, where I've been with International Animal Rescue, looking at their project to save orangutans. 90% of the world's orangutans live in Borneo, but they've been butchered because of the cutting down of forests for logging and palm oil, and numbers have halved in the last 20 years. IAR is the only charity working in West Kalimantan. Their aim is to save the orangutans by caring for them and, where possible, returning them to the wild by teaching them survival skills like how to climb. They're on the brink of opening a new rescue centre and are appealing for funds to help them run it. This film shows some of the current work to help orphan babies whose mothers have been slaughtered and more damaged animals spent their whole lives chained up as pets. Well, we travelled up this river to find an orangutan 15-year-old called Melly, who's been chained up on this balcony all her life. And it was really, really sad. She couldn't hardly move because of the chain. And she was sitting in her own excrement and fed just scraps from the table. And this is an animal who should be climbing high up in trees and she can barely move and both Roger Allen, the mirror photographer and I were really very moved by seeing her and we hope that the pictures we've taken of her will persuade the local forestry department that she's been kept in cruel conditions and uh, that she will be released very very shortly. We're hoping the pictures will be just the final evidence that they need. You can see how just so uh, sad and hunched she is. She's, she's, you know, when she looks at you, she's so her eyes are just just dead. It's terrible. If you do want to help uh, orangutans like Melly and the little babies in the garden, then get in touch with International Animal Rescue. And if you leave your name and address with your donation, they've promised to keep you up to date.